Hello great souls. welcome back to today's videos. Today we're gonna be focusing on a chapter in mathematics known as the inverse of a function. Great, uh, let us now look at uh, the introduction. Uh, in this lesson, you are going to learn about what an inverse of a function is. We are also going to learn about different graphical examples of inverses. We'll also learn about the steps to determine the equation of an inverse of a function with an example on it. We are lastly going to conclude the lesson and give you the summary. Now, let us look at the definition of an inverse function. So it says a function that has been reflected about the line y is equals to x, very important, is known as the inverse of a function. So if we reflect a graph about the line y equals to x, then the appearing graph will be known as the inverse of a function. Take a look at this line y equals to x. Is this red line here? It is the line y equals to x. Whenever you reflect through it, then whatever you get will be known as the inverse of that thing you reflected. Now let us take a look at inverse function graphs. We're gonna be looking at different inverse function graphs. Okay, the first one is that graph there. This is known as the exponential graph. So if you check f of x is reflected about the dotted line y equals to x to give you the new line. So we call that the inverse of this graph. Then the second graph is this one. This is known as the quadratic graph. It's a quadratic graph. If you take a look at the pink graph, it's reflected about the line y equals to x, which is the blue line. And we get the green graph. That one is known as the inverse of this function. Then lastly, let us take a look at this graph. So this one is known as the linear graph, the linear or straight line graph. So if you take a look at the pink line, it's reflected about the dotted line, which is the line y equals to x to give us the new graph, which is the blue graph. So that one is known as the inverse of the function. Okay, let us now lastly look at the steps to determine the inverse of a function. Steps to determine the inverse of a function. Let's take for instance, we are given the graph f of x is equals to x plus 1. So the first step to determine the inverse of this function is we rewrite our graph in the form of y is equals to something because in this case is f of x is equals to x plus 1 we are going to rewrite it in the form of y is equals to x plus 1 great then let's go to the second step the second step says we then swap x and y it means that where there is x we are going to place y where there is y we are going to replace with x then our new equation will be x equals to y plus one then then solve for y then we have to solve for y so in order to solve for y in this case we are going to subtract one on both sides then we'll be left with y is equals to x minus y then the last step is to replace y by the symbol of the inverse so in this case our graph was f of x is equals to x plus 1 so we are going to replace f of x by the symbol of the inverse which must be f inverse of x is equals to x minus 1 well, this marks the end of this lesson. In this lesson, you shall now be able to define and understand the meaning of the inverse of a function. Identify different graphical forms of inverse function and determine the equation of the inverse function. Thank you. 
That's it for the day.